Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful and more enjoyable life. I post videos three or more times a week and I would love it if you subscribed. Okay everyone, so today as you can see we have the piggies out and um, I am going to be counting up some coins. I started by lighting this candle. This is a winter candle that I got from Bath and Body Works this winter. And the reason it is so low is because one time I accidentally left this candle burning in my office for like 24 hours or more. So yeah, the first time I lit it, it pretty much went all the way down to there. And um, I'm now just trying to finish off the rest of it. So make sure you guys are being safe and responsible with your candles because I have not always been. Um, but anyways, uh, so today, yeah, today we are going to count some change. I found all this change. So when we moved, I must have just bagged up all these coins and I usually roll my coins like I enjoy rolling my coins. I have for a long time. So I would separate all my coins out in bags like this and then just like collect them all year long and then I'd pull the individual bags. Um, yeah, and I would roll them up. So today it's going to be kind of a long and crazy video, but I'm basically just going to count up all these coins. Oh, sorry, bubblegum. Um, so we've got marshmallow, cotton candy, and bubble gum on the table today. So I'm going to stuff these guys full of coins and then maybe I'm going to need to go to the bank and I potentially might just dump them into, you know, like a coin star or something and pay the money or I might roll them, but I'm not rolling today. I'm just counting. So, um, yeah, we're going to start with, I guess I'll start with these pennies. And also, I am, if I find any Canadian coins, I'm going to set them aside because I do keep the um, Canadian coins separate. But if I find any Canadian pennies like this, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with them because Canada has done away with pennies completely, which I think is awesome, amazing, super cool. So basically, anytime you go to Canada, if your amount comes to like $1.97, it would then roll up to $2. Or if it came to like $1.91, then it would roll down to $1.90. And that's what you would pay physically with your change or your cash. And then when they gave you the cash back, it would be obviously plus or minus whatever the cents were. But if you do a debit transaction or like you use a card or something, it does the exact amount. So like, you know, 96 or 97 or whatever the amount is, it will do the exact amount on cards. But for cash, they round up or round down. So I think that's really cool. So Canada doesn't have pennies. So I'm going to set any Canadian pennies aside because I don't know. I can't really rule them because, yeah, they're not um, American currency. <laughs> so I guess. Oh, do I want to start with the pennies or do I want to start with like dimes or something? Um, pennies are going to take forever. Let's do pennies last. So we'll start with dimes and then we'll go nickels, then we'll go pennies. And um, also, I am going to be trying to finish up this penny challenge that I started. So that's the reason why I was like, oh, I found these bags and I was like, let's count it all. Let's see what's there. Let's put it towards this penny challenge. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm probably going to um, put some music on and just like do a, I don't know what it's called, like a fast forward. <laughs> um, there's probably a word for it, but I can't think of it. Like speed it up, basically. Um, so if you want to watch me count all this coin, then definitely stick around. But if you want to just jump to the end and see how much I get at the end, I won't be offended, to be honest. I was just going to do this off camera, but then I was like, eh, maybe I'll film it and maybe someone will want to sit there and just listen to music and watch me like count coins. So that's what I'm going to do. And I made sure to grab a big water because I think this is going to take some time. So yeah, let's dump these dimes out and I'll get started. Found a penny.
So these are all dollars, and then I'm gonna start on 50 cents um, for the nickels, and this one's a 50 pile. this little lone dime which I'm going to add to a penny pile. So let me grab the pennies. That's a lot of pennies. Okay so for pennies I'm thinking I can probably stack 25 cents. So let's try that. Okay, so that's a 25 stack, so then I'm going to do a 15 and add the, the 10 to it. So there it is. I needed to go and wash my hands before thinking about touching my pink calculator and just to get off all the grime because these coins are really gross. But I did find one dime that is Canadian. So I'll put that in with my Canadian change. And then these pennies that are Canadian, I've got two, four, six, eight, nine. I think that I'm just going to like give them to the bank. I don't think I can get anything for these, but I don't just want to throw them away into a landfill. So um, I'm just going to see if the bank will let me give them the pennies and I'll put the dime with my other change. Okay, yeah, so let's count all of this up. So these ones are dollars, these are 50s, and these are 25 cents, and this is 10 and 17 cents. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 dollars in dimes, I believe. So let's add that. And then for nickels, we have 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 50. So 550 for nickels. Okay, so then for the 25 cent stacks, we have 51, 52, 53, 54, 25. 4.25 plus 17 cents, 0.17 equals. So I think I have that right. So $31.92. So $31.92 is what I believe I have here. I'm gonna double check really quickly and then we'll figure out how much we can um, color in for the penny challenge. I don't have much room to be able to do this. Um, but basically I'm going to take away each of these denominations from the 3192 until I run out and that will tell me how many I can fill in. So I'll just hold it like this. So let's do minus 5.67 plus 
equals minus 6.16 equals minus 6.65 equals minus 7.14 equals. Okay, so I have, um, I can go up to this 714 and then I only have $6.30 left. So I'm going to see if I can, um, I have some quarters in my wallet from rollover. I'm going to see if I can make it so that I can fill in all of these. So I have $1.75 here. So if I add another dollar to the $6.30, I have $7.30. And then I'm like 33 cents away. So I'll just add the 50 cents. And I'll save this for next week. So when I add the 50 cents, I get 780. And so that means I can color the 763. So I'll be able to color all of these. So let's go ahead and stick all of this into the piggies and I will color these. I feel like this little cotton candy is going to get completely filled. And I wanna make sure that these are really on screen for you. I think they are, but yeah, I have a feeling that he's gonna be like full from all these pennies, but I'm not sure. And if he is, that's kind of awesome because then we can start using bubble gum. And yeah, Aww. cute. Oh, I'm so surprised that when I was stacking all of these pennies, I didn't like knock them all over and have a complete domino effect and just like wreck this whole thing. The fact that it has survived this long is amazing and incredible. Let's get these little dimes out of here. Put those in marshmallow. Marshmallow can come forward a little bit too. Marshmallow's gonna get the big coins, these quarters. And, and if you got, and if this is your first time watching one of my videos and this is the video that you decided to watch, sorry, but also thank you for watching this far. Um, it, a few videos back, I had asked all of the subscribers to think of names. Uh, for the piggies since one subscriber had thought up cotton candy for this one and so now we have cotton candy bubble gum and marshmallow and I'm so happy with them I think it's super cute the names all kind of go together um, and you guys are really creative and thinking of those so thank you for naming these little piggies let's see I still feel like there's quite a bit of room Wow Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Now we got silvers mixing with pennies. How will we ever survive? Uh-oh. Not very graceful. I'll just kind of like, I'll just get those at the end. <laughs> marshmallow, I'm really hoping that marshmallow gets like full, full, full and at least I wanna fill like one of these completely and then be able to like cash it in and put the cash, the actual cash into the big black um, bank that I have. That would be cool. But we will see, we will see. Nope, too thick, too thick. Okay, Marshmallow said no. <laughs> Boy, my arm's getting tired. Almost had a runaway. Uh-oh, I think marshmallow's full. <gasps> oh my gosh. No, I still got some room. Not much. It was, it was bursting. It was all coming out the pig nose. 
Marshmallow's little pig nose. I think marshmallow is such a cute name for this one because like this big circle thing, like, and it's cream colored, like it reminds me of like a marshmallow. So cute. I will say that it's a lot easier to put coins into cotton candy than it is marshmallow just because of the way the angle is. But I can't neglect marshmallow just because I'm hurting my arm. I can't believe that I've counted all of this change and am <laughs> spending all the time to count all this change and stuff it all into these piggies. But you know what? It's kind of relaxing, aside from the cramp in my arm that I now have. And you guys are definitely under no obligation to watch all of this. Honestly, I'm probably just talking to myself at this point. It's gonna take me so long to edit this video. But you know, once the baby goes down at night and I've got a little bit of time, I'll put on a show or I'll put on some YouTube videos and have my headphones in one ear and kind of multitask and just get it done. So I was just really excited to see how full we could get these, keep working on my penny challenge. Jeez, marshmallow is really starting to get full now. I'm gonna have to shake, look. You saw that? You see that? Okay, I'm gonna shake it again and see if we can get more. Okay, we're gonna keep trying. Come on, Marshmallow. You can do it. You can do it. Oh my gosh, it's coming out the nose. Okay, shake again. Come on, let's see. All right, over to Penny's. Cotton candy's ready for some more. I think I might have to shift and put the silver coin into bubble gum at this point because Marshmallow is about ready to retire. Okay, more pennies in the cotton candy. Cotton candy's getting full too. It's like, it's a guessing game as to whether bubble gum is going to be used for silver coins or pennies, or at this point, potentially a mix of both. Let's see, any more? Uh-oh, cotton candy's getting full. How much more can you take? No, I think that's it for cotton candy. That's it, cotton candy is full. Cotton candy is gonna need to be retired until we can go to the bank. So I'm gonna start putting the pennies over into bubble gum and then see how much marshmallow can take. It's so different to like drop them down and not, and have so much space. That's crazy. Okay, I shook that one down a little bit more. This is impressive. This is really impressive how much these little piggies can hold. Like, I am kind of in shock right now. If I look down in, I can still see like a tiny bit of space. I'm just gonna keep going and keep shaking them down. I wonder what it's gonna be like trying to get all the coins out of here. All right, I really think that's it for cotton candy now. I've done it, I've done it, done it, done it, done it. Okay, so the rest into bubble gum and I'm gonna keep stuffing silver into marshmallow and see if marshmallow can take more. So 
So here we go. I don't know. It seems like there's more space, but it's harder to see how much space marshmallow has than cotton candy. And the nice thing about marshmallow is that I will not have to break this one. So um, I'm really happy because I love these piggies so much. Oh, this marshmallow is getting heavy. Oh, I can see in there and like there's no more room. There's like basically no more room. I'm going to tip marshmallow up like this. Try to drop them down like this. Okay, that is it. That is all that Marshmallow can take. I am going to have to retire both of these. So bubble gum will now be a mixed pot. And what I will do is just continue to fill both coins into bubble gum until bubble gum is completely full. And then, and then once all three are completely full, I think that's when I will take them all out and bring them to the bank. So get ready to see bubble gum in a lot of my videos and to be missing cotton candy and marshmallow. So finally, 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 it is time that I color in my penny challenge and think about all that hard work that I just went through for one, two, three, four, five of these. I can't believe it. Wow, it looks like this penny challenge is gonna take me a lot longer than I thought. If you're still here, I don't even know how you did it, but um, thank you so much for watching and I'll definitely see you in my next video. Bye.